Hey everybody, welcome to another Paint the Edge Up, where I teach you to make a cool painting in about an hour, and I get a little drunk doing it. My name's Joel, and today I'll be painting uh, this right here. This is called the Panda, okay? Uh, pretty creative title, I know, but um, that's what we're painting today. Just a nice, cool little, uh, I don't know if you like panda bears, just a cute little bear with a little artsy flair to it. So that's what we're painting today. So I'll walk you through step by step how to make that painting. I'm gonna tell you everything you need for it. Before I get to that, um, like always, please like, share, follow, subscribe. I got links. Um, just search Paint the Edge if I'm on most things. Follow me on TikTok. My TikTok's uh, not really that big of a deal, but I feel like it's getting a little bigger. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, there's links up there if you want to donate. I don't make any money from this. If you like it, you can throw me some money. That's cool. Uh, also, I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting like I do with all my classes. Every time uh, I do one, uh, all you do is correctly answer my subjective trivia question first in the comments, and I will send you a free painting of your choice, okay? Okay, so with that being said, here's what you're going to need for this painting. You'll need a canvas, okay? I'm using 16 by 20 canvas. You can use whatever size you want. Um, but the, you know, uh, ratio should be kind of similar. Uh, or it could be different. You can make your, I don't know, you can frame it differently. But that's the size I'm using, that's what my measurements will be for. I've got paper towels, I've got a water cup. Okay, you need water to mix with your acrylic paint. This is acrylic paint, so we want some kind of water cup. Uh, also, some to you know, wash your brushes out and everything. I've got a blow dryer, I've got paper plates, I've got whiskey, okay? And I've got some tools here, okay? I've got, I've got a uh, pencil, I've got an eraser, it's a neat eraser, you know? I've got a couple pieces of chalk. I've got my orange and some blue chalk. Those are my, I can use those to sketch on my uh, paint and then it comes right off, which is pretty handy. And then I've got my four brushes. I've got my big flat brush. I've got my medium flat brush. I've got my medium round brush and I've got my little baby round brush, okay? So take those four brushes, put them bristle down your water cup, leave them there anytime you're not using them. My colors, I've got white, I've got black. I've got phthalo blue, I've got a bright red, and a light yellow. Okay, that's everything you'll need for this. And um, so we'll get started here pretty, we'll get started here in just a second. Uh, let me take a shot real quick, get my shot counter on, up and going. And yeah, okay, okay, I think we did it. Paint the edge off. Oh, hot whiskey. Okay. Okay, shot counter. Boom. All right. <clears throat> okay, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, draw in <clears throat> draw in a little bit on our canvas. So we're going to draw on our panda bear. So take your pencil. Yeah. And we're going to start drawing. So um, what I do is kind of find the middle of your canvas. I'm going to go down about four finger lengths. Okay, it's about... I don't know what's that six inches I don't know let's go up here and make a little mark all right we got a mark that's the top of the head now the head's gonna take up most of the canvas or a good chunk of it um, so I'm gonna go this this line right here is a little below halfway this is gonna be about the bottom of the head okay so that is gonna be really that's about a third of the canvas maybe a little a little more than a third of the, just a little more than a third of the canvas up a little more than halfway down your canvas basically Let's put a little line right there. Okay, that's gonna be the bottom of the head. Okay, um, now, uh, the other thing I like to do is I like to kind of put the cheeks in here. Okay, so now this is about almost exactly a third of the way down your canvas. Okay, and it's gonna be just set in not very far. It's not, it's kind of close to the edge. It's about the same distance from the top of the head to the top of the canvas as it is from the side of the canvas to the side of the cheek. Maybe a little further out. Let's go ahead and do that on both sides. Okay, we've kind of got the sides of our, our head in. And now I'm just gonna basically draw in kind of a angle this in, just kind of like, this painting's got a lot of, I tried to make, I, I, the style I'm gonna go for is more like angled lines, more angular, not as biomorphic. Okay, but there's kind of our, our general panda head. Okay, let's go ahead and add the shoulders in here. So from both sides, let's just add a little line coming out like so that's gonna be their shoulder okay we have a little lines like this kind of it's gonna be kind of where the colors oh there's gonna be some yellow kind of on the shoulders so that's I'm gonna make a little line there for that we'll come back to that okay arms go down 
I kind of add a little, you know, angles, kind of like, I don't know, muscles, I don't know, shoulders, arms, but kind of add a little bit of little different angled lines there, but they should come up, kind of meet up with that point there. Okay, let's put the ears in, the ears up here. I'm gonna draw, they're kind of right where, where it angles down here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of space, and that's kind of where we start those ears. Ears go pretty high. Okay, so the one on the left, I'm gonna draw these both a little different. The one on the left is gonna go up and kind of straight over like this. And then it's gonna kind of go out. And then kind of come down, curve in. And it's gonna stop at that line. This one goes a little past the line. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw this forward. And then this is gonna kind of overlap that head, okay? So then I'm gonna take my eraser. I can erase this. And now it looks like our ear is in front of that and it's folding over, folding around the head. Okay, over here, similar thing, but this ear is a little more forward. You're kind of seeing the full ear. Boom, boom, boom. Again, make a line kind of comes through here that goes in front of that little line for the head. And there we go, our ears are in front of the head, okay? Okay, now, uh, gotta kind of find the middle of the head. So what I like to do before I get to the inside parts, I, I go on about another finger width here and make a little line. Okay, this is gonna be kind of like the little chin. He's got a bit of a double chin, okay? It's a little chubby. All right, and I'm gonna put a line there and here that kind of goes up. It's kind of mirroring these lines, or not mirroring, it's uh, kind of parallel to these lines. And then that, you know, up here, they're kind of gonna go up so it's kind of framing his little snout there. Okay, it's kind of framing his head. There's his double chin. All right. Okay, let's go up another finger length from the bottom of this line right there. Let's make a little line here. It's gonna be the bottom of the mouth. All right, let's make a little mouth here. There's gonna be a little bamboo stick sticking out here. Um, or you can make it a little cigar if you want. But it's supposed to be a bamboo stick sticking out, but that's we'll put that in later. Okay, right above the mouth, let's put in a nose. Just a nice wide triangle. That's all we're doing for that. Okay, now, uh, what we want to do now is we want to make a little snout. So let's put some lines here. Kind of go right outside that. And let's see, how do I do this? Uh, kind of go up, then it goes in. Okay, so there's our kind of little snout there, right? So that's a good little space there. You know, that's a good space. It's kind of the equal space from the bottom of the chin to the nose. The top there, that's how mine is. Maybe your nose is a little higher or lower, so it might not be the exact same, but you should have a good space there, okay? That should go kind of right through the middle of the head, middle of his head there, okay? And then right above those on each side, put a one circle there for one eye, one circle here for that eye, and then we're gonna basically draw a little, little whatever those little masks are that they have. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> and okay. All right. The only thing I think I really need to do is maybe put the little, um, maybe a little, those little belly. <laughs> Chubby little belly. Okay. And then maybe another little line here, kind of showing where the arms go down. Okay. Nothing too crazy. All right. There's our panda bear. Okay. We see that. Ooh, panda bear. Okay, good job. We've got it drawn in. Um, let's take a shot. Okay, cheers. Okay. Ugh. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and paint our background in. Take your plate. Let's get some green and some blue. Did I count my shot? I didn't. Dose shots. Okay, let's get some white, some yellow, some blue. And we'll get painting our background out, okay? All right, we got the boring part out of the way. Drawing in that, ba that uh, bear there. Not so boring, but you know. 
painting's the fun part. Okay, let's take our big brush. Tap it a little bit. Tap it a little bit. <laughs> okay, my, my shot counter should be accurate right now. Okay, let's take our brush. I'm going to first start by stirring my brush around. This gets the water mixed in with your paint. Let's grab a little blue in there. Let's make ourselves a nice light green. Okay, so light green is going to be a lot of yellow and just a little bit of blue. I do want to mix up a lot because I'm going to fill in that whole background this color. Yourselves a nice light green. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to add just a touch of white also. Let's get this a nice light green color. There we go. I might even need a little bit more yellow. Let's mix some white in and see how it looks. Okay, okay. It looks pretty good white. Let me just go with that. Okay. All right, once we got enough of that, we got a big blob of that. Let's go ahead and start filling this sucker in. Smile, smile. out. Maybe there's a little bit more blue. Oh, cog and log, how you doing, bud? Oh, shit. Okay, I got a big old fat scoop of blob of green down there. Let's fix that. How, how, how. Hee hee. Okay, let's go ahead and start filling this in. All right, let's just start filling all this space in. All right, just start, uh, this is where, you know, you just kind of zone out. Forget about the, the, uh, problems of the world, this shit sandwich we're all eating, you know? Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn my brush sideways to try to get those, you know, pretty close to those outside edges. If you go a little over, it's okay. But I'm gonna try to stay pretty close to it. Don't leave us empty space between the line and the background. Go all the way up to those lines. It's better to go over those lines than not go all the way to them. Let's start filling that in, okay? Uh, uh, uh. Meow, meow, meow. It's been a while since I've done this painting, so be uh, interested to see how it looks today. Bo 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 bo. E. Let's see what's been going on with everybody. Are everybody doing okay today? Happy Wednesday. Today is National Hot Dog Day, by the way. I'm trying to remember what else. It's national. It's a few different national days. Oh, oh Lord. All right, fill that in. There we go. Now we're getting our background in there. And there we go. Got our background in. Let's go ahead and paint our edges while we're doing it. Or while we got this color all mixed up. Let's go do it. I'm looking. I'm looking. Let's go do it. I'm looking. I'm looking. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Boring part out of the way. Let's get into the... We'll start painting our hand in first. But we should probably take one shot before we go, you know? Make sure we get our... Um, whiskey just helps me paint better, you know? I just... There is a point where I can drink too much, though, and then it's not helping. But, you know. Um, you know, I'm gonna eat a hot dog today to celebrate National Hot Dog uh, Day. Um, that and, you know, I'm gonna send out letters to pigs today and say thank you for your buttholes and all the random parts that make up a, a hot dog. Whatever's in a hot dog. Cheers. Ugh. Isn't a hot dog like pig butt and pig snout and like all the crap that no one wants? Pretty sure. <laughs> okay, let's um, 
Wash our brush out really good. We're gonna have to take our yellow paint. It's just gonna be yellow and white. But we don't want any of this green, or else um, that green's gonna mix with your yellow and won't make it so bright yellow. Yeah, what's in a hot dog? Hot dog's full of um, like uh, toenails and you know pig teeth and shit like that. All right. Take some yellow, a little bit of white. Take our big brush, let's start around that yellow paint. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my yellow so that, that the white really makes your yellow, um, really makes it pop. No, um, it doesn't. The, uh, well, uh, the white makes your yellow more opaque. Makes it not as, yellow by itself is very transparent. If I painted yellow just right over green, you'd be able to see the green through it. If you add some white, it's, uh, not so transparent. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna start filling this sucker in. Now again, I'm trying to stay around. I know this is gonna be a dark color, so I'm gonna go around that. I know the ears are gonna be a darker color, so I'm gonna go around that. That'll be a separate, that'll be a separate, whole separate deal. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go in here, take my time. Nothing really too crazy about this. You're just filling it in. Now, uh, your, your lead that you drew, your pencil drawing, can smear with the yellow and make it a little gray. Um, you know, you can wipe your brush off if you get some of that gray in there, but ultimately, you know, I would just go ahead and keep going. You can always do another layer over it and make it that yellow a little bit brighter yellow, you know. Now, again, it's better to go over. I went into the ear a little bit. But it's better to go over that line than not go all the way to it, which was kind of what I was doing there for a minute. So I want to not do that. I want to go all the way up to that line. All right. Cover all the white space between, betwixt your dark colors and your yellow. All right. Let's see, what have I been doing this week? I've, uh, better call us all. That's ruling my life right now. The new episode, Monday night. And, you know, it's a little slower. Last few episodes have been knocking futz. You know, they've been crazy. So I knew there was a slower one coming. But this one, it's a little sad. It was kind of a sad episode. But, uh, pretty epic still, you know. I mean, that show's just blowing my nips off. That show is rocking my face. It's rocking my mind. It's rocking my my brain. And my heart. It's rocking my heart. It's weird how much you start to care about fictional characters, you know, like who fucking cares, you know, right? It's like they don't they're not real. But um I don't know. You really want these fictional stories to go the way you want them to go, I guess. I don't know. Okay, now right here, I'm going to stop right there. There's the bottom of that head. I'm not going to go outside of that. I will go down here and fill in this little spot on the shoulder. But the rest of this out here is going to be this darker color. Oh, what's everybody else been up to? How's your week going? Or is, uh... Are you, is it insanely hot where you're at? Because it's ridiculously hot here. I'm in Arkansas, and it's stupid hot. I refuse to go outside. All right, let's paint the belly in. <laughs> belly. Look at his belly. This is a boy bear, okay? It could be a, you could paint a girl bear, but my bear's a boy bear, okay? He's... And he's pretty proud of himself, you know, he's doesn't care about his weight issues, but he probably should because it might kill him, you know, because it's not healthy. But, you know, he's, you know, he's still, he's still a good, he's a good, confident bear. He's happy with himself and, you know, happiness is more important to him than, I guess, his health. He's made that decision himself. Okay. Um, okay. Got the yellow and let's mix up our dark maroon. Oh my god. 
Yeah, he might be diabetic, you know. Um, I didn't draw his legs or arms because he has lost some toes and fingers already. His vision is starting to go, um, but he's still smiling. You know, he's still got a smile on his face. Let's take a shot. Yeah, um, if you step outside, it's like a thousand degrees. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I mean, I do, I guess it's like global warming or something. I mean, we're just cooking ourselves. Cheers. Uh, clog and a log, what region are you in? How hot is it where you're at? Uh, okay, I'm going to put in the the maroon parts, and then we'll do our trivia question. We'll blow dry, do the trivia question and everything. Okay, for this we need red and black. Red. Black. Now, we are going to cover up the eyes. I think the only part we're going to cover up that I feel like you might miss is the eyes. It could, you could take a Sharpie and outline your eyes, but that's up to you. Uh, ye old Europe. Is that hot there? Europe's, uh, well, where at in Europe? Is it uh, pretty close to the uh, equator? You in, uh, you know, Sweden? Are you in uh, France? But aren't you in France? Is that where you're at? Okay, let's mix some black and red together here. Both these colors are pretty strong colors, so you can kind of just play with these. You just get a good maroon color, okay? Just kind of a brownish color. To, some people looks brown. To me, it just looks like a maroon, dark maroon color. Um, maroon, a really true maroon would be more red, a little lighter, but whatever, okay? Did I count my shot just now? I'm bad about counting shots. Okay, let's just start filling this bitch in. Let's get all the crap off. I get my brush comes such a blob. I like to lay it down and get all the crap off of it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, like 103 degrees here or something. It's just like Jesus Christ. You know what's really truly terrifying is like, you know, there's only you can only get so hot. Like humans can only I feel like we can only stand so hot a weather. Like once it gives like above 110, 120, I mean we start to not survive in the weather outside, right? Pretty scary. Um, let's take a little poll on how long you think it is till the world ends. You know, is it? Two weeks? Two years? Two hundred years? I hope it's two hundred years. Maybe it'd be cool if the world ended in my lifetime and then I could say I told you so. That's more important than living to me is being able to say I told you so. You know? Okay, so I'm gonna go around and just kind of outline my. Oh, look at his little belly. <laughs> Why do bellies make me laugh? My dad's a has a big belly, and he always makes me laugh. Maybe that's what it is. I'm partial to big bellies because they just seem funny. You know, Chris Farley, hilarious. Big belly. Um, now this panda bear is not as much like he doesn't have a cocaine habit like Chris Farley but he is diabetic like Patrice O'Neill which again not as bad as cocaine habit you know he's just a bear enjoying his time eating some more a little bit more sweets than he should maybe Okay, um, okay, let's, okay, now for these parts, I'm going to switch to my medium flat brush. Oh, yeah, Denmark. Did you tell me that before? Ugh. 
Big bellies are humorous. Um, I have a big belly. If I really push it out, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get it a little bigger so it's funnier, but... Let's take our medium flat brush. Same thing, stir it around your paint. Get that water mixed in so you got any drips. Okay. Do gang gang. Big belly gang gang. Okay, let's take our little medium flat brush and let's just go ahead and outline. Or let's just kind of outline these shapes. Get these filled in. I'm trying to be real careful here. I've still, you know, I've cut a little bit outside my line at the bottom there. Uh, but, you know, there's always time to fix it. Again, your first layer. We just want to get all the white of the canvas covered, basically. Um, don't stress too much. You know, the first layer is mostly blocking in these these colors. I'm gonna have it rising up a little bit higher on the left side of his mouth. So he's gonna have that. Um, he's gonna have that uh, bamboo in his mouth. Okay, let's fill this in. I'm just completely covering up his eyes. Oh no. What am I doing? I'm a monster. Um. Oh man, okay, yeah. Speaking of the planet, it's gonna be a good segue into the trivia question, which I did not plan or anything, but yeah. Um, it's so hot. I got a little window unit air conditioner just for my side room. Because this room I'm in is not heated or aired, it's just like an extra room they built onto this house or something. There's no ventilation. So, but it's connected to another room, so I put a little uh, window unit in there. And so it cools this room down a little bit, but it's still hot. Like, I bought that thing and I'm like, okay, I know I'm blowing, I'm using it a lot, but hopefully it won't last too long. Hopefully it goes a little cooler here soon. I'm hoping that just doing this for a few weeks will not destroy my air conditioner and my electric bill. Uh, okay, we've almost got all of the maroon color in. One to lose. your heart okay here we go we got the eyes let's do the ears now this is where I kind of went over my ears a little bit so this is where you kind of have to go back you know reassess if you need to go back and redraw your ears in exactly so it helps you do that but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of basically draw my paint my ears back in where I had them drawn oh crap that came a little higher than I meant to Okay. It's kind of good to go, um, just kind of outline first, and then you can kind of get, if you do that, then you can go back. Once you get that in, you can just kind of fill it in. Let me right back to you. Yeah, it's a little taller and pointier than I meant it to be, but we can, maybe I'll bring it out a little bit. Oh, that doesn't make it. It makes it more pointy looking. They shouldn't have done. Should have left it alone. Classic. Classic. Always ruining it by overworking. Doing too much.
This reminds me of that Tom Waits song for a minute. It's like... What song is it? Big in Japan, maybe? Can't remember which song. Okay, uh, there's... Hey, we did it. We got the first layer down. Let's go. Let's take a shot. Let's blow dry. Let's do our trivia question. And okay, we got the first layer. Now we get to paint and have fun. We got a block. Now this first layer is just like coloring. It's like kind of just a coloring book. Not super exciting, okay? But after this, now we get to have some fun and really paint. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, uh, okay. So speaking of our hot planet and a planet and, and uh, okay, cheers. Ah. Okay. Uh. Okay, so, um, yeah, we were talking about, we are talking about, um, how hot it's been, global warmings. Speaking of which, today's trivia question is, which planeteer got Captain Planet canceled by having an affair with their castmate, Captain Planet? Okay, is it A, Kwame? Uh, which is also, so I'm going to go... Earth, water, wind, fire, heart. Oh, I put fire in there twice. Earth, water. I'm going to fix this real quick. Just hold on. Okay. Um, Who did I miss? Wind? Shit. Okay. Wind was Linka, that's what I missed. Okay, I'm gonna fix this real quick. Everyone just calm down. Oh no, it's in there. Earth, water, wind, fire. Oh, I know what I missed, okay. This one. Boom. Boom, okay. Let's start over. Um. Which Planeteer? Which Planeteer got Captain Planet canceled by having an affair with their castmate, Captain Planet? Is it A, Kwame, Earth? Is it B, G, Water? Is it C, Linka, Wind? Is it D, Don't Try to Ruin Captain Planet, it was perfect. Is it E, Wheeler, Fire? Is it F, Matai, Heart? Or is it G, Gaia? Or is it H, Suchi? Suki? Suki. I don't remember that. Sh- how to- I remember that show, but... Uh, okay, this is Captain Planet, in case you don't know. Okay, this is... Now, this big one, is the big lady there in the purple, that's Gaia. Voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. And then you got, you know, Earth, Water, Wind, Fire, Heart. And then Suchi's the little monkey, Okay. Okay, we've already got a guess from Alex and Suchi. Is it Suki? Suchi? 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 Sucky? His name is Sucky, so maybe it's him. Um, but Alex, spelling does count, and you didn't spell Suchi right. You spelled Sushi. Um, so which one of these people now, you know. There's so many shows like this where behind the scenes, all kinds of drama. Um, you know, who slept with who, what ruined what, you know, who... You know, it just got to a point where Captain Planet couldn't work with this castmate because of what had happened. So, um, it's just a little lesser known detail about the show. So, to give it a guess, uh, which Planeteer... Got Captain Planet, the TV show, canceled by having an affair with their cla- with their castmate, Captain Planet. Okay. Uh, cheers. Ah. Okay, and Kong and Along is going to go water. That would be G. Okay, um... 
good guesses. We'll see who's right. Okay, let's go ahead and get going in here now. What we want to do first is we want to start with, before we get going with our bright reds or pinks and blues in there, let's go ahead and mix up a poopy little, um, it's basically going to be yellow and black. So it just kind of makes a little, you know, shaded color. We're going to make, we're going to throw some shade, okay? Let's throw some shade, people. Wash your medium flat brush out. Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna take a little scoop of black. Scoop of black. Mix it with a lot of yellow. Okay, now we're gonna use this color to kind of um, show some shadows on our panda bear's fat face. He's a fat, fat face panda bear. He has diabetes. Um, he has diabetes like Patrice O'Neill, but he does not have a cocaine habit like Chris Farley. He's just got, you know, he's just got a weight, a bit of a weight issue, okay? Okay, um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and, uh, so remember these lines we drew in here? You can still probably see them through your paint. Let's go ahead and just kind of redraw those and just kind of cover, trace those. Okay. Okay, just like that. Ooh, now our, our panda's got a little bit of shape to him. Got a little bit of definition. It's got a little bit of, you know, form, a little dimension. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and start filling it in. Okay, to make that a little bigger. When it gets up here, I'm going to make it a little wider. Wider. Quieter. Okay, there's also gonna be a put a little line right there. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, it's another wrinkle on his fat face. Oh, here's another one. Oh, what? What? Okay, let's do another boink, boink. Ooh, look at that. Pretty crazy. Let's put a little bit of this over here too. Let's put a little shade on the shoulder. A little shoulder shade. As it's called shoulder shade, as we all know it. Uh, I got a little shoulder shade, throwing some shoulder shade at you. Let's put a little here. You know, I guess maybe the light is coming from maybe more this side. Maybe this side's a little darker. I'm gonna put my shade there. Let's put my little shade down here too as well. A little shade on this belly. <laughs> Bellies. Uh oh, be Shelly Bade. Belly shade. Shelly Bade. Maybe I'll put a little there. Maybe I'll put a little here, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll put a little there. That kind of, ooh, shows her that snout out. Ooh, maybe a little there. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I'm getting carried away with my, with my yellow, with my throwing shade. Okay, let's wash that out. And I think what we should do now is probably put, um, start putting our pinks in, pinks and blues. Let's start with pink. I'm really gonna wash my brush out, okay? Um, I'm trying to think what I did this week. I watched Better Call Saul. Oh, I watched this movie called um, what was it called? The Devil's Own. But you know, thinking back, I don't think they ever said The Devil's Own in the movie, like why it's called that exactly. I kind of forgot that was the name of the movie. But is this like 90s movie with uh, Brad Pitt, Harrison Ford? All right, wash your brush out real good. Let's get a new plate and get red and white. Red and white, my white. I'm gonna take my red, I'm gonna take my white. Okay, let's mix red with a little bit of white. Start by stirring your water in there with that red paint and get some white paint. Mix in just a tad, just a touch, just a touch. Uh, I guess it should probably be a little lighter than that. Let's get some more white. This looks more orange on the camera than it should. Okay, there we go. Got a nice light pink, a nice pink. 
Um, okay, now I'm just gonna basically go around and start throwing some of this around, um, just kind of throwing this around. Kind of accent lines, if you think about it like, you know, we start kind of outlining things, kind of showing where things are. The red and the blue are kind of like shadow lines or colors you would see on um, this panda bear face. But it's more in the lighter areas and it's also more in the reddish areas than the yellow areas for no reason at all, really. But it's really more of the lighter of the dark colors, uh, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to start put, fucking putting this shit in. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where? All right. And then here we go. Here, this is where we start having fun. This is where it starts being fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I watched this movie called Devil Zone. It's got Brad Pitt and it has uh, Harrison Ford in it. And, you know, it's like, oh, it starts up. It's in uh, Ireland. It's all about Ireland. And uh, it's like, oh, there's this family. It's like, hey, hey, kids. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. And this dude just walks in and just goes, just guns down his dad, just shoots his dad. You know, they're just like, hey, how's your day? And they're like, oh, good. I went down by the train tracks and I saw a frog. And then this guy goes like, fuck you guys! And just like murders their dad with a gun and just kills him instantly. And that's how the movie starts. So it just starts there and then it's like, credits, okay, movie began, we did it. We've started the movie. Um, and then it fast forward and it's, uh... Brad Pitt was the little kid, his dad got gunned down, so Brad Pitt's an adult now and he's a, like, member of this... I don't know. I don't know the war they're referencing because I'm not a nerd, you know. But uh, no, I don't know. It's some kind of war. I don't know if it's between England and Ireland. But um, Brad Pitt is like a main dude in this like resistance, and he's fighting them. And he's just like, oh, he's like shooting them. And like some guy comes to visit, and he's like under a floorboard. He's like hiding in the floor. Like, this is his life, you know? You know, they fight battles against an army. And then he hides in floorboards to get away from them. And, you know, I don't know why. I like these, like, kind of lightning bolt shapes in my in my painting here. Just kind of... I like to make everything kind of more angular. I guess is the point I'm trying to make. Is, like, put more angular lines in your painting. Okay, over here there's another arm, so let's put some more. Let's do a little wah, wah. But again, angular lines, right? Okay, so anyway, uh, but here's the movie. It's like... Brad Pitt is in Ireland. He's leading this revolution kind of thing, right? And he's wanted by... I don't even know the word. Interpol or something. He's probably wanted by, like, you know, all these European places, right? Cogging along, you might know the words, you know? <laughs> yes, Alex. I'm talking about the movie. Yeah. So everything's about Ireland and Irish people, and, um... I mean, everything's Irish. It's like, oh, you don't say. Oh, you need to go over there to... You need to go get these missiles from, from America and bring them back over here. And we'll fight the... We'll fight this army and we'll be able to, to beat them. And that's how everyone talks. And so anyway, so Brad Pitt's this Irish guy, and he comes... The whole thing is he's gonna go to America, right? It starts out crazy, and it's like... Oh, he's in his war, and his battle. And then he's like, I'm gonna go to America, eh? And I'm gonna get these missiles. And I'm gonna bring them back over here, and we're gonna fight this army. So his whole plan is he's gonna go to America, make some deal with somebody... And while he's there, he's going to stay with this family or somewhere. I don't know if he really knows yet, but he's going to go over there, get these missiles, come back. Hey, big hero, save the day, right? That's his plan, right? So, uh, he goes to America and he stays and he's talking to his connection guy that lives in America. And he knows Harrison Ford. So he's like, here, stay with Harrison Ford. You know, he's a friend of mine. I know this guy. But he's also like a cop. He's like a captain 
in a place. So it's like, oh yeah, this is a great idea. You fucking idiot. So you know, it's got, you know, it's got. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alex says Harrison Ford uh, takes him in because he's like an Ireland groupie, but Ford's a literal detective. So the last person Brad Pitt should be hiding out with, trying to trick. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, he's like, hey, my friend. So, but so anyway, so then the whole movie is just Brad Pitt and Harrison Ford like becoming buddies, like they play these over-the-top Irish stereotype guys at pool. Like, oh, hey, hey, we beat you there, eh? And there here's some sort of like, yeah, hey, we beat him, you know. Uh, you're one hell of a guy. And the whole side plot with Harrison Ford is like, he's a cop and his partner's kind of a shitty cop. And they just like grappling with like... The whole thing that's funny to me... Okay, take a shot. Cheers. So it's one of those movies where the whole middle part is like, it's like crazy, blah, blah. And he comes over to like do his thing. But then in the middle, he, he finds out that he has a heart, you know? And he's like, I actually like these people, blah, blah, blah. And then at the very end, it's like, oh yeah, God, I forgot. Yeah, I'm going to kill a bunch of people. I forgot. That's my life. That's the story, right? But in the middle, um, in the middle, the whole thing is just about him and Harrison Ford kind of bonding. But the funny part to me is that, like, the funny part to me is that Harrison Ford's like grappling with these things like, oh, I don't know. Uh, my partner shot a guy in the back. He's a cop. And he's like blown away that his partner would have any, any bit of corruption or like any bit of not like Harrison Ford's like the perfect guy in this movie. He's like, I don't even understand why someone would cheat to get ahead or like cover their own ass or get freaked out and shoot a guy. Like it doesn't even compute to me. Never in my 20 years on the service have I ever seen this. I think that was the funniest part to me because like clearly if you've been a cop for like 20 years, you've seen plenty of police officers abusing their power. But for some reason, this guy is his partner and he never saw this coming. And somehow, somehow that makes him quit the force at the end. He like quits being a cop because his partner shot a guy who was running away or something. And he's so blown away that that happened that he quits the force. I thought it was the funniest part to me. Anyway, the whole thing is just like, Anyway, and then so Brad Pitt's staying with them, and then eventually the deal he's in goes bad, and guys come to like steal his money that he has hidden there in the house, and they end up, you know, fucking with the Harrison Ford's family, and makes Harrison Ford mad, and yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, Alex says no one learns anything. Yeah, they're dug in, and they'll never change. Okay, let's mix up some blue with a little, little bit of our blue with our blue with a little bit of our white. Get a nice blue color there. We're gonna keep painting. But yeah, it was an alright movie. Anyway, so at the end, like, I don't know, it was pretty It was kind of a whatever movie. I mean he kinda of, I don't know, it was kinda of shitty, honestly, but Um Oh look there, you got your shot glass, cool. But anyway, yeah, that movie so basically the whole movie is just like Hey man, I like you there, bud. Oh, oh, oh I actually kind of like you there. You're a, you're a good cop there, bud. And here's the Ford's like, yeah, you're a good man too. Blah, blah, blah. And they bond. Here's the Ford's blown away that cops have any kind of corruption in them. And he quits the force. And at the end, he, he basically finds out that Brad Pitt's not who he says he was. And then he has to stop Brad Pitt from getting back to Ireland with the missiles that he's going to, he's going to bring these missiles by boat back to Ireland and somehow beat this anyway and they both die or something who cares it's stupid okay so anyway that was the devil's own that's the movie I watched this week it was all right you know it was, I don't know, it was worth the watch I it wasn't worth the watch actually I mean it was 
if you just got nothing to do and you just want to it was a movie here's my here's how I grade that movie um it was a movie that I watched and it was that's that that's how I would grade it but at one point you know everyone's like oh my god oh, da, 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 da. they're all Irish and uh this one guy shoots he goes into the bad guy's office and he he shoots the dude's henchman right and then the guy goes I wish you hadn't done that that didn't happen but I wish I, I wish they would have said that Talking along, I couldn't have said it better. Of all the movies ever made, The Devil's Own was one of them. It's exactly, exactly, uh, my sentiments exactly. Okay, the blue. Let's do some blue paint. This is a, I like this part. Boink. A little blue there. Oh, 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 what? Oh, shit. Okay. Blue paint. Okay, now I gotta remember what I'm doing here. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, let's paint some blue. So bit blue is going to basically be kind of the same thing as the red, just outlining certain lines. I'm not saying it's like arbitrary where you put them, but you can kind of put them, you know, wherever. Not totally arbitrary. I'm trying to keep them more on the right side, like more like the right side is the darker spot. So these are all, all these pink and blue lines are basically like, you know, um, lines that are giving you... Um, they're kind of forming the shape, this geometric shape you're building up, right? And the blue ones are more in the darker area, but you can really put this kind of anywhere. I'm not gonna lie. You can kind of put it wherever you want, you know? So wherever you think it feels good, go for it, okay? Explore that. Do whatever you want, you know? Try some things. You'll probably find some um, things that you like doing with your, with your paint. You know, you might develop your own style there that you like. So I encourage that strongly. Uh, strongly. Let's go here. Let's put a little blue going here. Where else have I put blue? Let's put some blue. Oh, is I know what I need to do. Like this. Now I'm kind of covering up that little dark red there because I feel like it went up a little high. So I kind of covered with that blue a little bit. I tend to say a little bit and kind of a lot when I shouldn't be like, I'm trying to cover up that line a little bit when I should just say, I'm trying to cover up that line. But I say I'm trying to cover that line a little bit. But really it's just like, I'm just trying to cover up that line. That's what I should have said there. Now some lines I'm gonna take my artistic freedoms and and make thick and make them big, okay? Because that's what I want to do. Now down here I need to make a big blue chunk. I like this. I don't know why I like this shape, but I do. So I'm gonna put it there. It looks like something that's happening. I would just let your paint just flow, just let it go where it wants, let it drive itself, okay? Uh, one other thing I do right here, I don't know why I like to do this, but I like to go here. I like to put my in here and just kind of twist it, kind of go over. I'll make this little mark where I go. And as I go over, I kind of lift off, right? So I'm going to go, I don't know, maybe I'm mean, a little bit stronger than that. Boom. I don't know. I just like that line. I just like it, okay? I don't know why, I just do. You don't have to do that there. You know, maybe I do this. Maybe I'll try that more. Oh. Oh. 
Maybe I like that a lot. Oh, oh. Let's do some of those. That makes it real fancy. Oh, my, my. Oh, I like this. Let's do this more. Okay, I don't know. I think I don't want to overdo it, but 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 if I was to overdo it, maybe I would do this. Like, now nah, I'm not gonna. Oh, maybe I do a little over. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. I kind of do that pink now. I'm getting pretty excited about that. <laughs> Let's do some more of that. Okay, let me get my pink and do a little bit of that with pink. Oh no, my brush still painting my brush. Shit. Okay, again, anybody tuning in that wants to win a free painting, today's trivia question is, uh, which planeteer, um, planeteer from the TV show Captain Planet, which planeteer got Captain Planet, the show, canceled by having an affair with their castmate, Captain Planet? Was it A, Kwame Earth, B, G, 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 G Guy, Jai, who was water, Linka, who was wind, D, don't try to run Captain Planet, it was perfect. E, Wheeler, who was fire. F, Matai, who was heart. G, Gaia. Or H, Suchi. So basically, which of these cast? There was earth, water, wind, fire, and heart. And then Suchi was uh, heart, the boy who played, who was heart. It was his little monkey sidekick, you know? In the 90s, you always had to have a monkey sidekick. I remember as a kid, I thought monkeys were the coolest. I'm like, man, if I could just have a monkey pet, you know, like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some pink and I'm gonna go, wow. I'm gonna put some of these little cool, wow, wow. Oh, oh shit, I'm painting and my trivia question is still up. But I kinda wanna add some of these, maybe I'll put a little there. Maybe I'll put a little here. Ooh, that looks cool. Maybe a little there. Ooh. Maybe a little here. I kind of like that. It looks like, I don't know what it looks like, but I like it. Okay, that's enough. I'm, I'm fucking it up. Okay. Um, so, uh, that's the trivia question. Did I take, did I count a shot? Did I take a shot? Let's take another shot. Okay, so he's got the black and the white left, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> and uh, then we'll be done. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Again, um, this is Captain Planet. Okay. This is the man who. Really crossed the line and um, gave in to his um, uh, bad. Uh, he gave in and had a sexual affair with one of the planeteers. One of these people, okay? Okay, there's the planeteers and Gaia. Now, Gaia was not a planeteer, but she was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. So, I mean, pretty sexy. Hard to resist. Um, so, um, now, but like every show, there's always some drama, you know? So what got this show canceled was this drama, which character was having a secret affair. And then when it ended, blew up and ended the whole show. Okay. Which of these characters had a secret affair with this man, Captain Planet? Okay. And it, which resulted in the cancellation of the show. Okay. That's the trivia question. <laughs> Is it? I know this one is heart, which was uh, there's earth, water, wind, fire, heart. I know he was heart. I think he was fire. This is Wheeler, right? This has got to be fire. It's a redhead. He's got to be fire. Earth, water, wind, fire. Uh. Wind was Linka. Yeah, Linka was this. I'm pretty sure Linka was this guy. This other the guy. Pretty sure that was Wind. And then there was 
You can usually guess these names by 90s stereotypes and racism and stuff. The 90s, they weren't really hiding it. Kwame was Earth. G was water. Maybe Kwame was... Maybe Linka was a girl. Yeah, because I think the... I do remember the, the guy, the other guy, um, this guy at the red shirt. I'm pretty sure he was either wind or earth. I think he was earth. I think he was earth, wasn't he? Look, I remember him, like, rising up rocks or something. Or wait, what's... Earth, wind, water... What's wind? Yeah, because I think one of the girls was wind. And she could do wind stuff. And then water was the other girl, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Earth. Okay, water had to be the um, Asian girl here. The black hair girl. The blonde hair girl had to have been Linka, right? Wind. Pretty sure. I don't know. I mean... It's been a while since I've seen this show, but but I do know this. I do know which one got the show canceled because of uh, you know having an affair with Captain Planet. I do know that. Okay, let's take our medium flat brush here. You know, while we've got this red, let's just take some red here. Uh, let's add a little bit of white. My white. I'm gonna take my red and my white. Okay, let's let's paint in a nice little. You know, let's take our chalk here. Let's paint, draw this in. Let's go. Here's this dude's bamboo stick. Little bamboo stick in his mouth. Let's paint that in. Then we'll come back. Okay, let's get black and white. Oh wait, you know what? Before I go on, let's get more just red, just basic red. Maybe just a little bit of white mixed in, but not like the most white. Just a little bit of white. And let's put a little... Boom. Okay, now... We need to really wash this brush out, okay? Let's take our brush and really swirl it back and forth. I don't know what else I've been doing lately. I've just been working and trying to stay out of the hot, hot weather. Last night, me and my lady went to pin or uh, to uh, Arcadia, which has a bunch of old arcade games. We're playing some old games. Never play that old game Dragon's Lair. The game's weird because like. I really don't understand it. There's like a little flash of light and you got to pick the right move. There's no way to know what to do. You're just kind of guessing and then memorizing what to do. Uh, whoever made that game, if they think they're amazing, they suck at making games. But I do like it because, okay, every game we played last night at Arcadia was... Here's how you play. You're just mashing buttons as fast as you can. Your wrists are going to break, right? So I do like Dragon's Lair for that reason. You're just kind of like... Dragon's Lair, you play, it's like, Dragon's Lair. And it's very cool. It looks, it's animated. It's drawn really cool, which I love. And then you go through and, uh, you know, it makes a little thing and you press one button. So I like that when you play it, you're not like, you know, and your wrists are like breaking. You're just kind of picking something. I appreciate that, okay? I appreciate it. That's all I'm saying. Um, Dragon Slayer was, uh, that one that looks like a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Uh, it's a cool game. The main point I'm making is every game we played, because we played, like, a bunch, but every one of them was like, here's a problem with arcade games. I guess if you're five and the controls are up here, and you're like, oh, like your wrists are, you know, more like this. But if you're an adult, all the games are like this, and your wrists are like, and you're just smashing shit. And your fingers, like, my hands hurt just doing that, like that. The problem with games is that they're just like... Arcade games. Like, they just hurt. They just hurt. Just hurt. Alright, okay. They just hurt. Let's get some black paints, take some paint. 
get your little medium flat brush throw your water in there get some black paint on your brush okay let's let's finish this sucker off okay so main thing I want to do here is I want to finish my eyes now if you want to take your chalk and kind of redraw your eyes in so they're in like the right place and that one doesn't look right does it still looks a little higher somehow that looks the best for some reason okay I'm gonna take my brush I'm gonna stick it here and just twist it around okay I got about half of it done but again I'm just pressing and just twisting my hand holding my hand in the same place just twisting it Try to keep your wrist and your arm in the same place, just twist your hand around. That guy got a lot bigger than I meant for it to be. And this shows up a lot more than it did in the other painting. The other painting, the black's hard to even see, but on this one, you can see it pretty good. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Just gonna leave it there. Okay, I wanna, if I keep messing with it, I might maroon it. Let's not find it. Let's take some black paint. Let's start really outlining some stuff, drawing some stuff in. Boom, like that. Let's put some little lines in here like so. Let us begin our quest to find okay, let's put a little line like that. Let's go like this. Zoom, zoom. Some of the important lines would be down here, right there. That's an important black line. Okay. I also want to go through and outline the mouth. Bears have that weird. Oh, well, and dogs. Any kind of animal like that. Dog animals. They have that like weird black gums, you know? So let's try to put that in there so it looks, you can kind of tell that's a bear mouth, you know? I also want to put in kind of outline this. I can kind of fix those edges with that. Zoom, zoom. What I'm basically just going to go through and start adding in lines to kind of show where different um, parts of the face are, you know, and kind of show like, okay, there's that. There's the edge of that. Maybe I'll go and go ahead and like that. Outline. And I'm going to go ahead and do a couple lines like this to kind of Maybe, maybe a little bit more like bamboo. I don't know. It kind of looks like a dog treat. Maybe he's eating a dog treat. You know, he is diabetic. This is uh, Davy, the diabetic panda. Davy, the diabetic panda. Okay, let's put some black lines here, too. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, and I can also put a little line like right in there. Kind of shows where my, my the shape of the eyes and the all that shit is. Zoom, zoom. Let's go ahead and put a little line there. Add a little water once in a while because black, uh, a lot of these strong colors, all these thick, strong colors, they, they tend to dry out faster. Let's go use a little more black in some of those regions, some of those areas. See, zoom, zoom. I think uh, that's pretty good for black paint. Maybe. I think so. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's take a shot and keep going. I have an. Oh, double digits. Double digit shots. Okay, again, uh, trivia question today is uh, 
which Planeteer uh, got the show Captain Planet canceled by having an affair uh, with uh, Captain Planet? Is it Earth, Water, Wind, Fire? Is it Suchi? Is it Gaia? Is it Heart? Is it, um, don't try to ruin Captain Planet. It was perfect. Which one is it? Okay. Okay. Um, let's take white paint. Now we gotta really wash it out. Let's take that medium flat brush. Wash it out real good. Cause we got black paint in there. In fact, I just take a paper towel. Start like that. Really just wipe a lot of that off. Pull everything forward, wipe it off, and then swish it around in there. Trying to think what else. It's mostly just the white. I think the white's the last thing I gotta do. Now, once I swish around, I'm gonna take another paper towel and pull it through there, and that kind of shows me how much is washed out. Um, and that's pretty good. There's a little bit of dark black there, so um, I do need to wash it a little bit more, but it's almost there. I can go back and forth pretty vigorously. Just don't stab it. Let's go back and forth. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take white paint, everybody. Now let's finish it up. My white. Okay, here we go. White paint. Let's get that all water all mixed in. Uh, but I want to make scale light, so let's take our brush, scrape it off. Uh, 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 let's scrape it off. Okay. Lay it down, pull it through, flip it over, pull it through. That keeps my brush nice and skinny. See that? Skinny edge. Skinny peak. Okay, let's put a little white up here. Maybe we'll put a little there. I'm trying to imagine the light spots hitting it, you know, so maybe I'll put it there. Where's the floor wet? What did I spill? Okay, uh, white paint. Okay. Never. I'm gonna stay out of the dark colors for the most part. The maroon color there, you know, I'm gonna try to stay out of that for the most part. And, um, um, forgot what else I was saying, but. Ooh, let's try that. Ooh, that looks kind of like. Maybe some bamboozle. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe put a little boink, boink there. Ooh, hey. Maybe put a little uh, boink, boink here. A little boink, boink here, a little boink, boink there. Here a boink, there a boink. Everywhere a boink, boink, okay? Okay, now down here I got a lot of big white sections. Let's do that. Let's go like wow, 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 wow. Okay, here's white on his fat belly. My fat panda belly. Oh, panda. <laughs> You're so crazy, panda. Oh, panda. Um, let's do a little white here. Maybe a little white there. Maybe a little white here. A little white. White. Hoo-ha. White. White. Yeah. I kind of like it. I kind of like it like this. I don't say I don't like it like this. Okay, here's the last step. Here's the final friggin' touch. You ready for this? Take your brush, flip around the plastic tip, dip it in white. Take the plastic tip of brush, dip it in white. Here's what you want to do. Wherever you put your highlights, you're going to put on the same part of each eye. These aren't pupils of the eye. They are highlights, they are reflections of light on their eye, okay? 
So let's say the light is hitting this way. That means there's going to be a little dot of light. There's going to be a little reflection on this top left point of this eye. And it's also going to be the top left point of that eye. Okay. So, boink. Boink. You could even do, let's try this. I'm going to go on a limb and try doing three. Let's do boink. 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 Boom. Look at that. He's so cute. He's so fucking cute. It's crazy. Okay, well, that's the last step. Uh, congratulations. So, um... Okay, so last thing we want to do... We should probably paint the bottom edge and sign it. So let's take um, new plate and let's do um, let's take our baby brush. I'm just gonna take red paint. Boink, red paint. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go. Oh, my my initials. Boom, initials. Okay, bottom edge. Let's paint bottom edge. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, you know. Uh, let's go. Uh, you know. Uh, maybe red and black. Okay, my mother says wind. Okay. Well, let's hold on. Let me see. Let me paint the bottom edge, and then we'll do the trivia question answer. Okay. Okay, there's our final painting. Look at that. That looks good. Congratulations. We had a nice little panda painting here. Okay, so let's see who won today. Uh, I'm trying to remember who the. Uh, okay. The question today. Now, here's Captain Planet. You know, God among men. Heavy weighs the crown. Am I right? And then here's the Planeteers and Gaia. Gaia's. The big purple lady. She's voiced by Whoopi Goldberg, you know. Um, and then you got, you know, all the earth, water, wind, fire, uh, heart. And then you got Suchi, a little white monkey down there. So in the 90s, there always had to be a monkey involved. Okay. Uh, so the answer to today's trivia question, surprisingly, um, was... Uh, G, yeah, J, J. Now, J or G, I don't remember how to say it. Yeah, this this little this little red hair or sorry, black hair girl with the pink shirt and the blue um, jacket. Yeah, she was actually quite a bit of a uh, off camera, pretty big shit starter. Okay, so unfortunately, G, J was um started beginning an affair with captain planet who as pure as he was um really just had a passion for the earth and not much else um and with him he really had a crazy really weird um theory on starting a super race of emotionally pure people and when G broke up with him for, you know, the Toxic Avenger, that really fucked with Captain Mer Captain Planet. And he realized that she wasn't pure, and maybe everything he thought all along was wrong, and he, he uh, you know, it kind of shattered his world, okay? And that ended Captain Planet. Um, he refused to do any more episodes with her, he refused everything, um, all because look, little miss, little miss water over there thought she was little miss Gaia. Okay. She is not Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. She got a little ahead of herself. Thought I'm going to, I'm going to just, she's, I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking. I don't know. 
what she was thinking. Okay. But regardless, irregardlessly, um, that's the answer for whatever reason that I can't think of right now. And so, hey, uh, cog and log, you win. Sure. You win a painting. Send me an address, I'll send you a painting. Okay, I think I must have spilled something because I got water all over the ground. Did I pee myself? I don't think I peed myself. I think I spilled something. Maybe I did pee myself. Maybe Philip came in here and peed my pants. Maybe my cat came in and peed my pants for me. My cat comes in here. By the way. Oh my god, it reeks. Oh my god. This is my Bob Ross wig, you know, which I've had and I've used for many Halloweens. My cat comes in here today and just starts peeing all over it. It reeks, by the way, terribly. And, uh, Ugh. um, you know, thank you, Cogginalog. Cogginalog tells me I'm on 11. Uh, appreciate that. Um, my cat comes in just instantly pees on my Bob Ross wig. I can't remember what I was. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, my cat peed my pants, I think. Um, my cat pees my pants all the time. So, with that being said, um,. I'm gonna go now. Hey, Cogging Log, you in a painting? Give me an address, I'll send you one, okay? Alright, I love you guys. Um, okay, bye.